Um, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Bobby Vincent. I'm the Director of Public Works for the City of Richmond. And today is a beautiful, bright, and hot, and sunny day um, in the City of Richmond. And we're standing here on Franklin Street, uh, where our engineering department for the Department of Public Works, um, in terms of working with the mayor as well as city council, where we've gotten the funding in order to take care of a major portion within Chaco Bottom. In addition to the beautiful Main Street Station, we now have a beautiful driveway here on Franklin Street that is cobblestone with bike lanes, um, some trees, as well as some sidewalk modifications that have, in fact, been done. So it's a grand day, and at this point in time, I want to introduce um, our mayor of the city of Richmond, Mr. Mayor LeVar Stoney. Thank you, Bobby, and good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Well, first, I want to begin by welcoming uh, everyone to the new and improved Franklin Street. Welcome, everyone. So since fall of 2019, our Department of Public Works has been working tirelessly to make sure this area represents the accessible, multimodal Richmond we're building each and every day. First, I have to thank a number of partners who made this street improvement project possible. The Department of Public Works Engineering team, led by Dr. Young Ping Wang. Dr. Wang, thank you. Uh, along with uh, Al Hicks and Martin West. We want to thank RK and NK, the consultant that designed this truly special spa space, and Otto Enterprises Incorporated, the contractor that helped turn this vision into a reality. And of course, we would be remiss if we did not thank our partners at the Virginia Department of Transportation for their generous funding partnership, providing almost a million dollars in state funds. When you combine that together, what we created a $1.8 million project right here in Shaco Bottom. So, you know, I'm always ecstatic uh, to see the Department of Public Works in action. But the completion of this project is particularly meaningful because it literally connects the efforts that advocates for Shaco, for advocates for Shaco have been asking for for a very, very long time. I would say probably for decades. This improved street connects the 17th Street Market to the Virginia Capitol Trail through the 17th Street to Main Street Station and to the Shaco Bottom commercial area as well. It connects the community health and wellness to a major transport hub to a key branch of Richmond's small business community. It enables bicyclists, pedestrians, drivers, and wheelchair users to access the cultural wealth of Shaco like never before. And to me, it completes this key community hub. And I think we can all agree the whole is greater than any of the sum parts. You know, when you look back at the history of Chaco, it being the earliest area of uh, the city of Richmond, this is where the original city of Richmond was essentially uh, started and founded. And you think about the history that is down here. Only a few weeks ago, I was in this direction over here by the Lumpkins Jail uh, Devil's Half Acre site talking about uh, the city coming together with a number of community voices and partners in the creation of a memorial campus to recognize the enslaved. So that project will be kicking off uh, in, in the coming years as well. The city of Richmond put uh, 25 to $50 billion commitment behind that. We also think about what's right before us right here at the uh, Main Street sta Station that has gone under serious uh, renovation over the course of the last decade, uh, roughly $90 million dedicated to such a project here in the city of Richmond, uh, which we all can be proud of with a new train shed that can also host a number of events. And the fact that now Amtrak shows up here on a regular basis too, very important. And then right behind me as well, we had the 17th Street Market as well that we launched during my tenure as mayor uh, and work that was laid beforehand, but we were able to get off the ground here. You put all these parts together and you create a whole community. We still have a lot of work to do to go about memorializing the enslaved, but also bringing more economic development to Shaco Bottom. This is one of the first areas uh, of the city where I lived. I lived here in my 20s uh, because it was an affordable place to live, still an affordable place to live, but also because of the 
uh, the nightlife we have here as well. You put all those parts together, you're creating a great uh, area, a community for a number of people to live of all ages. Now to, to wrap things up, this project was more than just cobblestone placement, bike lane markings, and tree plantings. It's an example of the purposeful placemaking we must invest to build an equitable and truly multimodal city. So once again, I wanna end by thanking the Department of Public Works, RK and K, and Otto Enterprises for their hard work, and thanks to the neighborhood for their patience. David Napier, you understand patience. You've been here for a long time. Uh, as part of the Merchants Association here, you've seen the ups and downs and the ebbs and flows that come with being a part of Shaco Bottom. And I want to thank you specifically and a number of the merchants here, the business owners here for your patience. Whether it's the, the flooding that came some 16 years ago to now, we can all say that Shaco is different than what it used to be. And we want to continue investing in this neighborhood to be one of the finest neighborhoods in the city of Richmond. So thank you for your patience and your partnership in this endeavor. And I'm looking forward to visiting uh, Shaco Bottom again and again to enjoy what it all has to offer. Thank you so much. And now I'd like to ask David Napier to come up and give a couple of words. David, a uh, longtime head of the Merchants Association here, just to provide a couple of remarks. David. Goodbye. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, um, and everybody that's here that helped with this project. Um, Jeannie Welliver, Department of Public Works and Economic Development, uh, Bob Stidell. Um, so many people went uh, over the top to get this done. It was a very difficult project, and it took a long time. And um, I speak for the other people in Shaco Bottom that operate businesses that the patience is what we had. and. Um, we have a much better neighborhood now, hopefully being connected to the rest of the right side of the tracks, as I call it, um, will really help us uh, as we go forward. The people down here that have been so patient would appreciate uh, a visit from those people that don't normally or have it in the past come to Shaco. It's a completely different neighborhood now. Uh, it's beautiful. We've got a beautiful plaza, but and we've got this now connection and parking and the traffic is it's got uh, permanent patterns in place now, easy to find parking. Um, but we also want to hope that, uh, we hope that the, the mayor will continue to look at all of Shaco Bottom as a taking care of what we've got to make it more attractive for what he's proposed in the future. Um, our, our neighborhood will help attract the kind of uh, money that he needs to complete his project if it's in good shape throughout the neighborhood, all the way up to the base of Church Hill, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st. We have a big neighborhood, and it's a very walkable neighborhood, and we hope to see a lot of people down here that formerly wouldn't have come. And I thank you again, Mr. Mayor, thank you. and uh, I thank everybody with the city that has worked so long and hard on this difficult project. You know, you dig 300 years into the ground, you're bound to fi find some surprises, but they found them and fixed them. Thank you. And David, I would shake your hands, but we're in the middle of a pandemic, even though it's hot outside. We're still in the middle of a pandemic, but I would say thank you so much. And I would be remiss if I didn't recognize Jeannie Welver. I think the sunglasses and the mask, hiding behind all of it, and the visor, uh, a longtime friend of Shaco Bottom and a, a great city public employee as well. Thank you for your contributions here. With that, ladies and gentlemen, we'll take some questions. Remember, it is probably approaching 90 degrees, and so. I want to make sure we get everyone out of the sun. So, who's first? Yeah, thank you, Henry. Uh, we do have a special session coming up, uh, the General Assembly, uh, and what I know that is this is a, a session that's working not only on public safety but also on just social justice in general. I think. Uh, I've been a longtime supporter of uh, expungements of records of uh, returning citizens. Uh, I look at uh, some of the other measures that are in the Virginia Legislative Black Caucus uh, that we want to uh, highlight, particularly uh, the legalization of marijuana uh, that I support, using those dollars to go into the, um, 
the at-risk add-on into public schools. Uh, other uh, states around the country have done so. I think that uh, Virginia should take full uh, advantage of the opportunity and, um, and do everything we can to support our kids. Um, I think these actions, uh, for me, uh, will allow us to uh, create a more equitable uh, commonwealth. And it's my hope that the General Assembly, uh, both the House members and the Senate members as well, uh, take the appropriate action to ensure that we bring this sort of equity to localities like the city of Richmond. Yeah, uh, as, of, as for SROs at Richmond Public Schools, uh, I know that the city school board is uh, taking a, a hard look at whether it's necessary. I know right now, as we are operating on the virtual climate, uh, it won't be necessary. But moving forward, uh, I think that's something that you know, the school board should consider. Uh, we don't want to create a, a, a school to prison pipeline in our city. Uh, we recognize that, uh, and I, I agree with those who believe the same thing. Uh, if there's a way that we can ensure balance, that our, our kids can feel safe, our faculty can feel safe, the staff can feel safe, but also prevent that, that pipeline, uh, that's what I support. And if the school board supports removal of SRL, we'll do everything we can working alongside the Richmond Police Department to accommodate. What's next for Shaco Bottom? Well, First, you know, I, would, I want to take every opportunity to make sure that folks remember that there are some fine, some great restaurants and great eating downtown. That you, they should come here and dine and spend their money right here in the city of Richmond, spend their money here in Chaco Bottom. But also, moving forward, you know, we've done a number of infrastructure upgrades, particularly since the years of 16 years ago, since uh, Tropical Storm Gaston. You've seen a number of investments coming from the city of Richmond alongside our partners at the state level. Moving forward, uh, there are a number of empty parcels, as you can see, to our north that I think we want to work on as well in terms of building a, 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 a memorial campus to, to commemorate and um, uh, memorialize the enslaved. That's one of the top projects I want to see done in my next term as mayor. Uh, but also, as David Napier stated earlier, there are still little things that we can do, whether it's uh, putting investment behind sidewalk repairs in, uh, in Chaco Bottom. There's a number of brick uh, sidewalks here in the city that we need to continue to invest rep or, uh, in repairs. Those are the sort of little things we want to focus on as well. You know, uh, for those opponents who, who are against legalization, you know, honorable people can disagree. Uh, uh, I think we are at decriminalization at the moment, um, and since we're at decriminalization, why not use the revenue uh, of legalizing marijuana and allow for that new revenue to go into supporting our children? Um, I think moving forward, if states like Colorado and those in the Pacific Northwest can do this, I see no reason why uh, the Commonwealth can take a page, can't take a page out of their book. Thank you, everyone.